My interest is in the prediction of demand for products, basically, and short-term prediction in particular. Um, short-term prediction of demand is important for when we have to make decisions about how much to make or how much to order. Imagine a retailer needing to order goods from a wholesaler or a wholesaler having to order goods from a supplier. All of this is based upon demand forecasts, so that's my primary interest. The importance of industrial collaboration, uh, I don't think it can be understated um, for a number of reasons. The first reason is that if we're doing genuinely applied research, then we should be dealing with real questions. And how do we know what the real questions are? Unless we talk with people in industry, because they can tell us what is challenging them. That's the first thing. The second thing is that when we produce new models and new algorithms, we need to know that they'll actually work in practice. It's all very well that they can work in theory, but do they work when faced with real, messy, dirty, difficult data? You don't know until you test it. And the final point is, what about the benefits? You can't actually quantify the benefits of any improvement until you test it, until you use it in practice, and then you can see. The work that we've done, not just myself, but my colleagues as well, has introduced some new methods for forecasting, new ways of choosing between different forecasting methods, and they've been implemented by some uh, quite major software companies, and through them, it's also been implemented in major companies as well. Waste arises when you make wrong decisions, when you order too much and it can't be sold and therefore has to be disposed of, for example. Um, and a more subtle thing is that if you're thinking about spares, about spare parts, if not enough are available, then that can lead to waste in a different way because people actually have to replace their original equipment because they can't find spares. So it, it cuts both ways in terms of reducing waste. Supply chain waste is a huge issue and it's becoming increasingly recognised now as being a big issue. Perhaps some years ago it wasn't. What I would say is that sometimes certain aspects of supply chain waste are not properly recognised. Most people will recognise waste such as excess packaging or maybe uh, excess transportation. But there's some more fundamental questions. What about making goods that are never sold? That's waste. In fact, that's big waste. And it's really very common throughout the whole of the supply chain. And what does that introduce? It introduces waste in production, because these things are never used. Waste in distribution, we're, we're transporting things that are never used. And then finally, some waste in the disposal process itself. I think it's very important for research to have an impact beyond the academic sphere. And I think it's particularly important if we claim our discipline to be applied. My comments are less relevant if we're talking about a pure discipline. But in any discipline that does claim to be applied, surely there's a few things that must happen. Firstly, it needs to be addressing real problems. That's because uh, without that, we don't know what we're talking about. Are we simply talking about a problem we've made up? or are we talking about a real one? And secondly, do our solutions work? Do they actually work in practice? Do our new models truly benefit? Well, we can only tell, again, by testing them in practice. Once we do that, we can see if we're getting the benefit that we'd anticipated.